Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Kickstarter in the current year, where today, due to a distinct lack of uh, particularly interesting and heinous projects, we will be doing another little special covering a more broad topic, looking at some projects today, and, and a general idea here, general idea, namely that of copyright, which has uh, been the bane of so many Kickstarter projects, uh, and yet the boon of many others for, for whatever reason when they fly under the radar a little bit. There are a lot of people that make these uh, terrible Kickstarter projects that are just uh, an IP infringing mess. And whether or not you support the concept of intellectual property and intellectual property rights and copyright doesn't change how Kickstarter policy applies to it and it doesn't change how law applies to it. You need to take copyright into consideration when making a project, you need to take into consideration the uh, specific pieces of the project you're using, the uh, intellectual property you're using, if you're making some kind of uh, fan content, the moment you involve money into the equation, you're in a lot of trouble. I mean, Nintendo is well known, for example, and Disney as well, for going after fan projects even when they are uh, completely, like, innocent, when they are uh, not asking for any money, when they're not generating any income, and you know, like like all those ROM hacks or whatever. So to go on Kickstarter and ask for uh, significant sums of money to fund a project which at its core should not legally exist, well that is um, that's a pretty bold move. Now there are some projects that are pretty subtle about the way they uh, have this, uh, you know, copyright infringing material in them, and there are others that aren't, uh, as was the case with Bring Joy to Celebrations with Unique Party Favors, which has already been cancelled, it never got uh, any, uh, any pledges, it didn't get any backers, uh, and this is the uh, project thumbnail, uh, there's, there's not really much to be uh, said about this, this is just... This is just Disney property being uh, used very blatantly, and and whatever this person was intending to do with this this whole thing, uh, it's probably for the best that they they ended up just having their project cancelled. Uh, as I have said on some other projects that I've looked at, the worst thing that can happen to a project like this is probably it being funded, because, um, yeah, people get away with bootlegs, but most people that get away with those, like, bootleg products don't, like, telegraph all their personal information and, um, you know, their, their name and, and their uh, occupation <laughs> and, and attach all that to the bootleg. They just sort of uh, sell it and move on. But uh, that is not the case with this project. And, and, and you know, good for Jaquana that uh, she said, um, no, 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 I am gonna go ahead and back out of this one. And uh, equally not... Uh, <laughs> Equally not really giving a damn about the copyright, we got Legends, uh, Le Legends? Legends of the Legacy, uh, which is asking for a bit more than the, the $1,000 the previous cancel project was looking for. This is asking for uh, over $100,000. Um, mm. So far it's raised $600, uh, which is kind of, uh, kind of already insane, considering that it is... Once again, just a bunch of AI-generated uh, garbage, all the art is AI-generated, all the text might be AI-generated, I wouldn't know, uh, I don't speak the language, uh, I don't have to to tell you that this project is ass, and that um, if, if you get $100,000 to make this project, which, which actively, like, um, infringes on you know, not just one intellectual property, not just one company's intellectual properties, but, you know, the copyrights of uh, a, a bunch of manga, a bunch of Marvel products, a bunch of Disney things, like, it, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, another project that is currently live is very subtle, very subtle about uh, having stolen content in it specifically, not just copyright, like, infringement, but straight up stolen, uh, stolen content, and I would uh, argue sort, sense, uh, sort of stolen valor here, which is Legends of Exile, Bedwars Multiplayer Survival. Before we even look at the video and the stolen, uh, stolen uh, content and assets, um, Bedwars... <laughs> The description is also pretty great, uh, how uh, it says, Hello, we're a small studio called Eldarium. Our team consists of only two people. We, we, you, can, you can tell. We had an idea of a game where a duo gets an option to play two characters, a male and uh, a female and male. If the first player picks male, the second player will need to be the female. 
how goddamn revolutionary the two gen- um, I mean the two character classes, male and, and female, I guess. But yeah, if you take a look at the video, you see this opening with uh, the character models uh, and you will then uh, see this like sped up footage of some like game environments. Um, the opening, I'm not sure about the second part, but uh, Lobster posted how the the opening with the two character player models is just uh, footage from a model showcase that this person did not make. This is once again just ripped straight off. Uh, I will have to check in post when it comes to the audio, but another thing you will notice in a lot, a lot of these uh, projects, if I uh, upload them to YouTube without any editing, if I, uh, which was the case, for example, with the uh, wizard video, but I did not want to mute the audio on it because the audio was f goddamn atrocious and I wanted you to hear the terrible narration done by the AI. Um, in those scenarios, the, the music is copyright, uh, copyright protected and uh, the project creator has no idea because they got no idea what they're doing and Kickstarter runs like zero checks on that because, well, that's not their problem. That's going to be, if any, if it's anyone's problem, which it might never come to be anyone's problem, it's going to be the problem for the project creator. Now, the reality is that some projects will slip through the cracks. Now, the majority of these projects, as is the case with the majority of projects on Kickstarter in general, uh, they will just simply vanish without a trace, they will not succeed, they will barely get any attention. If they get any attention, they probably get it from uh, bots and, and scammers trying to uh, do the chargeback scams like in that video uh, I did on those. With that, and the occasional project which does succeed, it has, uh, you know, it, it reaches its funding goal, doesn't get cancelled by Kickstarter, doesn't get a DMCA, uh, and, and those projects, you know, slip through the cracks, you end up with this weird sense that some people have where, well, this person got away with it, so I'm gonna get away with it, and also it's totally cool. I'd arguable whether it's totally cool, but saying you're going to get away with it is, you know, not the greatest idea. <laughs> because ultimately, you know, you're making the Kickstarter project, your goal is to make money, your goal is to get attention, and the more money and more attention you bring in, the more likely you are to receive a DMCA notice, the more likely you are to get some kind of content claim, the more likely you are to have your project taken down, and, and so on. So it, it might end up being a lot of effort and money uh, wasted for no good reason, uh, and in the best case scenario, there's going to be your time and your effort and your money, and not the money of the goddamn backers. Because even after the project is uh, complete, even if after it is uh, successful, there is still the chance that the project will go down. You know, I, I'm still uh, waiting for something to come out of uh, the, that uh, Spider game by the amazing Lucas, but uh, I, I feel like it's in a bit of a development hell. I've only seen like a couple of uh, design things that he's posted on his uh, posted on his Twitter. Uh, I have not seen uh, gameplay yet, maybe I've just missed it. Uh, I'm not joining the Discord because I don't goddamn want to. I have no idea if that game is going to be made, you know, uh, Lucas seems pretty busy, uh, you know, he seems pretty busy, you know, uh, making uh, racist rants against people who have criticized his project. A border on your forehead? I know you're all about fucking illegal immigration or DACA, but I've never seen somebody with a border on their fucking forehead. So that whole situation is iffy, but even Lucas, Lucas started off when defending this project, talk, um, you know, right after he made this Kickstarter project and it succeeded, it succeeded in question, you know, quotation marks, because it's still pretty goddamn questionable where that money came from. He uh, he kind of had to beg his uh, beg his supporters and fans for money actively because uh, he lost a bunch of like scam backers, and those were very obviously fake backers. So either he was going to get scammed out of money, or he had actually agreed to this whole scam, like, proposal and, and gotten those fake backers, and maybe that's why he was so goddamn, goddamn upset, because he already lost the money. I don't know. I have no idea. I frankly don't exactly care about that. But even then, he initially defended the project, saying, well, oh, this other project got away with it, and, and here's, you know, a bunch of reasons why it's slightly different than than, than the the, the, the Spider-Man originally. Stupid as fuck. 
How many times have we gone over this? Do you think Sony sued them? They just straight up taking poses. They took the whole, they took the whole fucking, the whole shebang. They got the spider on the chest. They got fucking everything, right? Only thing that matters is the Spider-Man costume because Marvel has a trademark for the Spider-Man costume. Spider-Fighter knew this and knew that the only thing they needed to change to be completely free of any charges is just the model. And now it's not Spider-Man, it's just some random delinquent called Spider-Fighter. You, on the other hand, decided to use a Spider-Man model on your Kickstarter project. You know, he had this goofy idea where uh, him having essentially the same name, uh, originally having pretty much the same like suit and logo and everything, uh, didn't matter compared to this other project, uh, other like bullshit game that had the 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 Spider-Man character take a certain pose, and and the human pose was supposedly the copyright issue that he would he would see there. It was it was stupid as hell. But even he, you know, has since uh, altered the uh, Spider-Man design more, or sorry, the spider design more. He's essentially made it uh, an, an OC with uh, very little emphasis on the O, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's very goofy. And if you'll check on his, uh, you know, in the, the Twitter posts of the art, you can see that he's tagged it with hashtag Spider-Man, but also... Hashtag not Spider-Man. <laughs> wow, you really... <laughs> you really giving yourself leeway there, huh? But ultimately, that's neither here nor there, and I, I'm not expecting much from the project. Uh, maybe I'll be surprised in the end. The point I'm trying to make here is, um, people will go on Kickstarter, and they will see a couple of successful projects using these IPs, uh, and not notice two things. One, that, you know, they might not be really all that big of a pro, you know, those projects might not be that big and might not bring in that much attention, or they are very massive, but they actually have some official, like, backing there. There was also a project recently that was talking about uh, making a sequel to Blade, which, um, you know, in most contexts, I would be like, that's, that's Kino, I love Blade, but I, I don't think that Kickstarter is the place where I'm going to get a sequel to the original ba Blade trilogy, Especially considering they had not contacted Marvel or any studio at the time. Uh, they, you know, they, was, they weren't going to get Wesley Snipes in on this because, are you goddamn kidding me? And, and then if you remember back in the day, IDubs also covered a bunch of projects like this, like uh, the people trying to make a sequel to, uh, to, to Breaking Bad, or the people trying to make their own Pokemon movie. People just sort of cycle into the site, would, would completely clueless about anything, spend a bunch of time, put in a bunch of effort quite often, and get nothing in and, and then get nothing out of it because, well, it was always going to be a copyright mess, and people are most often not willing to give their money to a project that has even like a decent chance of disappearing off the face of the earth because it gets. DMCA'd and, and, and litigated. This is sort of a message to project creators as well as backers. Uh, if you are a backer, for the love of God, avoid these projects. Don't be like, oh, I'm, I'm protesting copyright by backing uh, backing the new Man Bat movie on a Kickstarter. Um, that's not really how it works, and you might end up, in the best case scenario, just you know supporting a project that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, worst case scenario, you know your your money will just poof vanish. Meanwhile, with uh, project creators, don't go around making uh, projects with uh, intellectual properties that you have no access and no rights to. Uh, you are just kind of uh, playing with fire. Uh, and, and again, best case scenario, you just wasted a bunch of your time on a project that was never going to succeed or, uh, you know, is going to cause you more trouble in the future. Uh, and worst case scenario, you're in big trouble. That's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Uh, give me your takes and opinions on the copyright thing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully something big goes on on Kickstarter. Because right now we're in a bit of a bit of a drought for for the wacky stuff. Down to clown. Hell yeah. Ever had your ass eaten? Don't lie. Tyler, that is not how we talk to strangers. <laughs> It's like the mother. <laughs> it's like your mother. Tyler! The second message doesn't matter because it's like a casual question. Yeah. Relating to.